call Cooner now. 301-984-9570. Welcome back to the Cooner Show on 570 WTNT, the last honest man in Washington. My friends, uh, the producers just want me to reiterate to you, there is somebody out there using a phony Facebook page impersonating me. Uh, it's Jeff Cooner Facebook. That is the phony page. The official real page is the Jeffrey T. Cooner Facebook page. Please go to JeffreyTCooner.com. And also for all of you out there, supporters of the Cooner country, uh, if there's any way you can find out who is behind the phony Jeff Cooner Facebook page, please let us know because we want to get this thing closed down as quickly as possible. We are now joined by Larry Sinclair, the man who wrote his recent book. It is called Barack Obama and Larry Sinclair, Cocaine, Sex, Lies, and Murder. Mr. Sinclair, welcome to the Jeff Cooner Show. Thank you, sir. Oh, Larry, I, I, Mr. Sinclair, as I laid out in my monologue, uh, I've pretty much laid out the, the facts of the case, uh, what you describe in your book. Let me ask you the first obvious question. How did you run into Barack Obama? When did you first meet him, and what took place? Well, actually, <coughs> excuse me, it wasn't running into him. I was actually introduced to him. Um, I was in Chicago for the graduation from the Great Plains Navy Training Facility, or the Navy uh, Basic Training, of my godson, uh, Lee Dukes. I had reserved a limo with Five Star Limo, service for the time that we were there, and I had notified the driver that if I could not take Lee out, I was still going to go out and wanted to know if he knew anyone in the Chicago area that liked to have a good time, that would feel comfortable going out and showing me Chicago. And I was actually introduced to Barack Obama by the driver who was by the name of Jagir Multani. Now, Mr. Sinclair, that was in 1999, correct? That's correct. All right, so now you're being taken around the limo, you're being shown Chicago, and, well, we, and your limo driver says you have some, he has somebody in mind that perhaps would like to party with you in Chicago. No, we weren't driving. Actually, I had made the arrangements with the driver prior to going out on Saturday. Okay. Okay. Um, I had made the request on Friday. He had contacted me prior to picking me up on Saturday and said that he had a friend he was going to introduce me to. He had picked me up from the hotel room. We drove into downtown Chicago. I was actually introduced to Barack Obama as I was exiting the limo. He was actually standing outside the limo when we pulled in. And I was introduced to him strictly by the name Barack Obama. There's absolutely no doubts who this person was. Uh, we go into the bar, we have a few drinks. I think I listened to part of your monologue. I didn't exactly tell Barack Obama I wanted to get high. I had made the comment while having drinks and, you know, small talk that I could use a line to wake up. And Barack Obama had actually asked me if I was referring to Coke. And when I told him I was, he said that he knew where to get it. And then you, so he went and you gave him $250. Right. We left. I had given him $250 to purchase approximately an eight ball. Uh, people have hyped, harped on that. Okay, sorry, Here, for the lay listeners. I'm sorry, Larry, because I've never done drugs in my life. What is an eight ball? Uh, it's just one-eighth of an ounce. Oh, one-eighth of an ounce. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's just referred to as an eight ball. Okay. And people people have harped on the price saying, oh, well, that's not the right price. What they don't understand is, is they're taking everything um, in current pricing and, and times. They're not looking back at 99 Actually, $250 would have bought a little bit more than an eight ball. Of okay. No, Mr. Mr. Sinclair, we don't need you to get into, because okay. into what people have been accusing you of. Just for our listeners, lay out the story for them. Okay. We picked up the Coke. Um, he comes back to the car. I start doing a couple of lines off of a CD tray off of his knee. I start rubbing on his knee. Uh, he's undone his pants. I'm... Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay, yeah. I got you. And, okay you, had, you had sexual intercourse. Right. Then he pulls a crack pipe out of his pocket 
asked me to hand in the lighter, which I had my lighter over on the little drink holder on the side there, bring it up, and I had no idea that he did coke. I had no idea that he smoked crack, but the fact that he had the crack pipe in his pocket told me that this was not a casual user. Okay, and then, so you, you spent the evening with, he was getting high, you were getting high, you had a sexual relationship, whatever, a sexual encounter with him in the limo. In the limo, had drinks, and then I went back to my hotel room. Now, as you, um, and then you, he meets you again the next night, correct? He, he shows up uninvited. I never, ever gave him my room number. The driver did have my room number. The driver was a friend of his, but he shows up the next night at my room door. Um, I open the door, he comes in, he offers me more coke for myself, and I told him I still had some from the night before, um, lays back on the bed, engages in a second sexual encounter, and he smokes crack through a crack pipe in the hotel room on the second occasion. And then after that, as you state in your book, you, the two of you never saw each other again after that point, correct? Exactly. I left Chicago. I was there briefly, you know, for from November 3rd through November 8th of 99. Never saw him again. I recognized him while in Mexico during the um, 2004 Democratic National Convention when he gets up on stage. I'm sitting there looking, oh, my God. You know, and then again, I thought nothing of it because it's a politician. Mr. Sinclair, we're going to pick it up right after this break. 301-984-9570 is the number. If you have any questions for Larry Sinclair, he is the author of Barack Obama and Larry Sinclair, Cocaine, Sex, Lies, and Murder. We'll be right back after this break. This is Jeff Cooner on 570 WTNT, the last honest man in Washington. 